hello there. I'm so happy to have you here with me. I'm Cat in the Hat. We're going to read some stories. Let's see what we're going to read today. If I Ran the Dog Show, All About Dogs by Tish Rob. I'm the Cat in the Hat, and today we will go to the Short Shaggy Tail Waggy Super Dog Show. Dogs are mammals like us, and their senses are keen. We will meet lots of dogs, and you'll see what I mean. Every dog is invited. The tickets are free. It's starting right now. Grab a leash. Follow me. There are millions of dogs, and they live the world over. Meet Plucky and Lucky and Ruby and Rover. There are big dogs and small dogs and dogs in between in more shapes and sizes than you've ever seen. Dogs are loyal and true, and they're eager to please. They sniff everything, people, rocks, grass, and trees. Dogs can do lots of things. They like running and catching, and howling and prowling and sniffing and scratching. Here is the world's biggest build-a-dog puzzle. This part of a dog's face is known as the muzzle. Now I'll show you the ears, the withers, the crest, the shoulder, the elbow, the brisket, the chest. Dogs have a thick pad and four nails on each paw. On each foreleg, a fifth nail is called a dew claw. Dogs' eyes can be golden, dark brown, or light blue round or triangular, or almond-shaped too. Their heads can be long and narrow like this collie's, or shorter and wider like this French Mastiff dog's Molly's. Their ears come in all shapes, and I happen to know. Erect ears stand up high, and pendant ears hang low. Dogs' tails are all different. Some are straight and some bend. A hook tail hangs down, then curves up at the end. Tails can be short, long, straight, curly, or plume. Plucky wagged her long tail when I walked in the room. Tails help a dog balance. Look out, there goes Rover. His tail keeps him steady so he won't fall over. The tail muscles help hold it higher or lower and help a dog wag its tail faster or slower. Dogs are carnivores, which means they eat meat. Their sharp teeth help make the meat easy to eat. I've studied dog's teeth. Now I've got it right. When top teeth hang over, it's called overbite. When bottom teeth stick out, this, like this bulldog's teeth do, it's called underbite. Other dogs have this too. Fur helps keep dogs warm and protects their skin. Sarah's thick fur keeps her body heat in. Would you like to meet this nice dog named Shirley? Her fur is quite long, and you see it is curly. Some dogs' coats have patterns. Look at Scratchy's back. His coat has a pattern of tan fur and black. Some dogs, you see, have loose folds in their coats. Dewlaps are loose folds up under their throats. Sarah was trained and now understands the words sit, stay, and heal, which are spoken commands. Dogs may bark to tell you, let's go for a walk, but barking is only one way dogs can talk. If a dog starts to growl or has teeth that are bared, that means she is angry, girl. If he whimpers, he's scared. If a dog feels okay, then its tail is upright. If its tail's drooping down, something might not be right. Dogs are all different breeds. You'll see in this book just how very different some breeds of dogs look. Irish wolfhounds like Baxter are the breed that is tallest. Chihuahuas, like Chico, 
are the breed that is smallest. Purebreds have parents the same breed as each other, like these poodle puppies with their father and mother. This dog's name is Wendell. He likes to do tricks. What breed is Wendell? This dog is a mix. I have pictures right here of his father and mother. His father was one breed, his mother another. A mixed breed or mutt, I can safely say, is the most common dog in the U.S. of A. German Shepherds are brave and have nerves that are steady. For any emergency, they're always ready. Bloodhounds are so good at tracking a scent. If someone is lost, they can smell where he went. Labradors like Rover like to run, jump, and swim. Having fun with kids is perfect for him. Greyhounds have long legs, and these dogs I know can run fast, and they're always ready to go. Some dogs have short legs, like this Basset Hound. When she moves around, she is low to the ground. Silky terriers like Scampy have long hair that flows. Sometimes this long hair is held up with bows. Long hair like Scampy's is called a headfall. Chinese crested dogs have almost no hair at all. This dog's having puppies. She's patiently waiting. Dogs give birth about 63 days after mating. When she has her puppies, she'll have more than one. She could have 10 or more before she is done. Puppies like to play. They like snarling and biting. They're not really angry. They're only play fighting. Here is a poem I wrote for these pages. It's a poem about how puppies grow up in stages. I am a puppy by the cat in the hat. I am one day old. I can't hear and can't see, but I can smell my mother. I know she's near me. I am three weeks old. Now I start to explore. What's this? It's a toy I just found on the floor. I am six weeks old. My sister wants to play, but she likes to bite, so I push her away. I am eight weeks old. There's a lot that I know. I have a collar and leash, and I'm ready to go. Now it is time for the next presentation, a how do dogs see, hear, and smell demonstration. Dogs have good vision. Their keen sense of sight helps them to see better than people in dim light. Dogs hear high-pitched sounds that people can't hear. Scratchy heard a mouse squeak and knew it was near. I blew this dog whistle, and though I was near it, Lucky heard the whistle, but I couldn't hear it. Dogs' noses work well. When Jack smells your clothes, the smell goes to scent receptors in his nose. Then the olfactory nerve, I would like to explain, brings the smell from the nose right up to his brain. Whenever a dog smells your clothes and you, it knows where you've been and what you've been up to. Dogs can help people, and here are a few of the helpful things some dogs can be trained to do. A seeing eye dog is trained as a guide. When his owner goes out, he is right at her side. Therapy dogs bring tail wagging cheer. People feel better when these dogs are near. They are specially trained, so when they're invited, they stay calm and friendly and don't get excited. Assistance dogs like Bob can open up doors, turn on lights, find lost keys, and pick things up off floors. Sniffer dogs can find things with their keen sense of smell. If there's fruit in this suitcase, this beagle can tell. Search and rescue dogs work to find people in trouble. In an earthquake, they find those who are trapped in the rubble. Police dogs have badges. Scout, as you can see, is wearing his badge, number 6183. 
the dog show is over and I have a prize for every dog here, every color and size. Dogs live all around us and we've seen today dogs live in our world in their own special way. When we walk in the door, they come running to meet us. Wet kisses and tail wags are right there to greet us. There are many things that all these dogs can do, but what they want most is to spend time with you. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you next time.